Okay guys, and I just added my mushrooms in, and now I will add in my mints again. Then you keep on stirring it up, and then all of them will mix, and then you'll have a good meal at the end. And we'll be adding three tablespoons of our tomato relish that we made. Put the rest of the jar in, buddy. Okay, I'll just put tomato. the rest of the jar in. It's got a really nice little bit of kick. I'm going to put in some salt and pepper. Yeah, and we'll be putting in some salt and pepper. And then we're just going to let that slowly cook down for about the next half hour. We'll come back and show you what it looks like. We're going to add our herbs in shortly, so we'll go and cut those, and then we'll come back and show you adding our herbs. Okay guys, so this is just slowly starting to simmer away now. We're going to add our jalapenos, our fresh oregano, we've got some basil and we also have some fresh parsley. This is what really makes the dish when you're using a lot of fresh herbs from the garden. We'll just slowly mix that through and we're going to let that simmer away now for about a good half an hour. Probably not quite that long. <laughs> and then we'll be back with this. And we'll get it near the end ready for taste testing. <laughs> Alright, so this has been simmering away for about another 10, 10 minutes or so. It's starting to thicken beautifully. Probably still needs a little bit more, but Deacon's eager to test it, so he's just going to have a taste test. What do you reckon? It's going to be a bit hot. not as hot as I expected but it's very good excellent so that's actually the boys favorite one there's a couple of different processes lots of fresh herbs from the garden that we like to do cooking the meat separately first um, and then using all our own tomato tomato base instead of using bought stuff and normal tomato paste using chutney it actually turns out a treat every time uh, and this will let this simmer down a little bit longer but try it if you like it share it and um, let us know